This is Anthony with Six String Country, and these lessons we're gonna be working on Tim McGraw's Just to See You Smile. Obviously a huge hit for him, and I think for a lot of us, probably one of our favorite songs. It was written by Mark Nessler and Tony Martin. Um, a few quick notes about what we're gonna be working on. The acoustic guitar is tuned down a half step and then playing in like key of G chords. There is a little bit of tabs we can work with, um, just like in the intro and in the middle of the song. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I'll definitely show you an option to, to simplify it. In the lead lesson, um, we're mostly grabbing what the electric guitar plays, duh. But in like the second verse and some spots, we're gonna grab also what like the fiddle and the steel plays. Um, and we'll be doing capo two on the electric. But uh, some pretty cool just like straight up country stuff like from the 90s or whenever that was. <laughs> but uh, I hope you enjoy playing this. Let's get started. This is the rhythm lesson for Just to See You Smile. Uh, we do need to be tuned down a half step, so tune your guitar down to where, you know, E, A, D, G, B, E, everything is a flat. So E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and high E flat. Um, we will be playing key of G shaped chords. Um, so uh, just kind of be thinking about that there. Also, um, we will use the tabs just a little bit. We have that stuff in the intro and kind of like later on the song, the that part is super cool um, if you want to work up that part, but also if you want something simpler, um, I'll, I'll show you a way to cover that if you're just like, you know, strumming, playing by yourself or whatever. Um, but yeah, first verse. It'll start with one whole measure of G, and then we're gonna go, using strumming pattern two, we're gonna do beats one, two, and three on G, beat four, the down, down, up. We'll be doing D over F sharp, so it'll be like this. Right, just on beat four. Then we move on to E minor, back to strumming pattern number one. And then in the next measure, using strumming pattern two, <clears throat> one, two, and three, those beats uh, is E minor, then beat four is D, so. Cool. Moving on, we got a C chord, a whole measure of that on strumming pattern one. Next measure, strumming pattern two, same kind of thing, beats one, two, and three is C, and we're gonna walk down to a B, uh, G over B on beat four, so. Cool. Next measure is, uh, the whole thing is A minor, strumming pattern one. So. All right, so now that we got everything, let's try this to a metronome. All right, we'll start with the intro, the stuff with the tabs. All right, we'll get those two measures. One, two, ready, go. Cool, now let's move on to the part where the band is all in and we're strumming chords. Here we go, three, one, two, three, four. Cool, uh, again, you can use that for the turnaround and the outro. 
Let's move on to the verses. We'll just play that progression one time through. One, two, ready, go. This is the lead lesson for Just to See You Smile. Capo on the second fret, don't forget that, gotta have that. Um, I'm gonna stay on the bridge pickup, and it's kinda like medium light gain. The most important thing is you're gonna wanna have a decent amount of compression if you got one of those pedals. First fret, um, slide up to the second fret. So it'll sound like this. Next thing we do is this here. Okay, a little pickup note, the fourth fret of the G string. And then we're gonna hit the fifth fret of the B, fourth fret of the high E together, hammer on the E string to the fifth fret. And then the fourth fret of the G, fifth fret of the B and high E together, fourth fret of the G again, and then fifth fret of the high E, pull off to the fourth fret, fourth fret of the G, fifth fret of the B. And now this little run. It'll be a fourth fret of the, of the G, hammer on the sixth fret, fifth fret of the B, fourth fret of the G, hammer on the sixth fret again. And that'll ring that whole measure. Last little bit here. So I'm doing like, it's kind of like an octave chord. I was trying to hear what chord was being played. It was a little bit difficult to really tell, but it sounds to me like this covers it. If you do second fret of the A, fourth fret of the G, open B and high E, and the D string is muted, right? kind of making like a B sus chord. Uh, but hit that twice. And then um, just same kind of thing, but now I'm gonna put my pinky on the fourth fret of the B. I'm gonna add that on there. And the E string should be muted now. Just repeat that again with the E5 and so on and so forth. And that'll uh, get us into the fade where the, the track fades out. So now that we got all this stuff, um, there is no solo, so there, there uh, won't be a solo video. It's all about the lyrics in this song. Let's go ahead and try this uh, to a metronome to make sure we got all the timing right. There we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. 